We are learning more details tonight about a weekend shooting in Iowa City. It happened at the Pheasant Ridge apartment complex early Sunday morning, where another shooting in March left an 18-year-old paralyzed. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett joins us now with more. Jason? Yeah, Scott, police say this incident may have started with a fight at another social event. Those people decided to take their problems to the apartment complex. Dozens of rounds of bullets were fired. Luckily, no one was hurt. But some residents are a bit shaken up. Four years have made a big difference for Taha. It was getting really scary lately. He moved into Pheasant Ridge in 2010. Since then, a shooting in March paralyzed 18-year-old Denisha Davis. Then, early this Sunday morning, more chaos. I was actually in the kitchen and then my mom came running. She was like, did you hear that? And more gunshots. I just said multiple ones like right after each other. 24 shots to be exact, according to Iowa City Police. All the shells found in a nearby parking lot. That sounds to me like there was at least one magazine change there. So yes, that is quite a few rounds. Police say the gunfire raises concern in a neighborhood that was already attracting their attention. It's the same neighborhood where a cab driver was robbed at gunpoint last August. Then you have the Davis shooting, still fresh on everyone's mind. Police say this recent shooting seems to have no connection to that incident, but all these issues combined have them paying extra attention. Clearly it is flaring up. That is a concern. We will continue to dedicate resources to it to try to calm it. Those additional resources were visible today. Hopefully we get in front of the curve instead of responding to calls for service. News that should be a relief to many living around here, especially those with young kids. But for others, it's still just too risky. I would definitely want my siblings to be safe. But maybe I'll take them somewhere else to play, but not around here. Now, police are asking for your help. They're looking for the shooter described as a male, six foot one with braids and a black and white hoodie. You're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 358-8447. And as always, you can remain anonymous. Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News.